big old jelly right here that came by. I'm set back up. You can see these two rods right here. They both have ribbon fish. They're not out very far. This one, I'm going straight back down again on my heavier stuff for Cobia again. Okay, so I saw some bait busting and I got this thing. This is huge. He's great bait. In case you don't know, ow. In case you don't know, this is a blue runner. It's a really good bait. I'm considering putting them out or just keeping them for shark bait for later. Uh, I could probably get some more. So let me see if I can get a smaller one. I'm gonna try to get this out. It's a little bit better size one. That's a blue runner. I cut off the bottom half of his tail. I'm just gonna send him out like that. Hopefully he doesn't come swimming back up here to me. That's kind of the only thing I'm worried about, but. King. No. All right, I had a king hooked up. Yeah, that's exactly what it was on. I'm gonna do the same thing, just pitch it behind me 30 feet. Right about there, that's all I did. I know the kings are around, so I'm going for a drift. Let's stick this out, kind of like that. Doesn't need to go super far. I'll feed it a little more line as I go. But yeah, I'm gonna go for a drift, see if we can pull a king. I got bit by one on the backside, so I'm just gonna drift on through here and hopefully we can get bit by one. Whoa, look at all that bait right there, wow. Woo! Stay away from my room fish though. This is precious. Might have to uh, start trolling live baits instead of ribbons because I only got a couple left. Right, I'm gonna put this out right here. Should be good. Come check on my back one. Seemed like it was actually in a really good place, but it's all right. Throw it again. And okay. Keep pulling line off this one. Try to get it as far back as possible. All right, we're drifting guys. I'm throwing a little chum right here into where my baits are about to be. This could be a really good way to get kings to zip through. They smell some bait, they see some bait, then they'll come back and grab a real one as they come through, you know. I'm gonna put down two of these little sardines, really oily, smelly bait right in here. Hopefully we get bit. Oh, there's a bite. Not the kind we're after, I don't think though. Yes, hooked up guys. Really, really fast fish. Nice king. Oh, oh, no. Did it come off again? Dang, bro. Dude. All right guys, I'm going for a drift right now. I've got my two rods right here. I got bit on the last drift on the other side of the rig. So I'm gonna come on this side, just kind of drift through here. Hopefully avoid the little fish that might eat my ribbons and hopefully pull a big old kingfish out of here. I've gotten bit twice on king. So I think our chances are pretty good at getting one. Gonna try to show you guys the uh, valleys out here. A second ago, there were a set of waves that were just massive. Like, it just seems like five foot or something, you know, once you're down in the bottom of it. All right, guys, I'm leaving the rig for right now. Straight ahead of me, there's a whole bunch of feeding birds. We're gonna go see if we can make it while they're still feeding. See if we can get in on that action. Looks like it's about a quarter mile out. It's gonna take me a while, but they've been doing it for a while too, so. Paddle it about as hard as I can. I got birds 30 yards away that are diving right now a whole bunch further than that. So I got some live baits out behind me. 
Wouldn't be surprised if they got chomped here in a second. Yeah, you can see this little group of birds right here, but we're gonna keep going to the big group back there. Bonito. Wow. Sweet. That's a little bonito, guys. That's awesome. I'm going to give you all one more look at this bonito. I'm going to use him for shark bait, but wow, look at that thing. Look how beautiful he is. Check this out, bunch of dolphins, big old pod. Hey friends. All right, guys, we're getting kind of serious here. Got a float. Got about six feet of heavy mono. Some 300 pound cable. And a big old Bonito kid that's fresh. I just caught that earlier. And we're gonna run that off behind the kayak. Hey, 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 get away from there. Nope, don't do it. Sweet. Red snapper. Another cobia, sweet. Not very big. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. So 
but get you in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you're fighting above your weight class here. Second little Kobe of the day. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at him. He's looking at me. Seeing his little mouth and the teeth are in there, but super cool. He got me with his little top fins right here. You should be able to see him. I'm gonna send him on home. Woo! Pretty sure I was filming for that. Uh, just had my third bite on Cobia and I couldn't get my rod out of the rod holder. It was really pretty scary. I was getting like towed sideways and backwards. Luckily I kept my balance, but by the time I got the rod in my hand, she was five feet away from the rig. I cranked it down to try to get her out of there, but she broke off 100 pound mono, but I tried guys, I'm sorry. That, that, that one hurt right there. I've been out here for probably like eight hours or so, just waiting for that one really good bite. And I think that was about 50 inch Cobio, but all I can do is put them on back out, try again. Got my rope off the rig right here. It's gotten super rough out here. I'm gonna go ahead and paddle on out. We went two out of three on Cobia. I uh, lost one, ripped me into the rig backwards. It's pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. But um, if y'all don't see any more footage from this video, that means I didn't hook up on my way back. I've got one rod with a Rapala I'm gonna troll. I appreciate you guys for watching so much. Thank you for 80K on YouTube, and I'll see you guys in the next one.